come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming to take over your world one podcast at a time, one Saturday at a time. There we go. Mm, there it is. Yeah, I like it. Ah, and we're on a Saturday. I, finally. I mean, this is every pe- Saturday, Sean. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, right. who's Sean? Sean's one of the internet radio superstars. Holly. Michaela. Sean again. <laughs> and I'm Colin. <laughs> Hi, Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by Sean. What did we watch tonight? What infested our lives tonight? Oh, can you feel it? I did yes, feel I it. Yes, I do feel yeah. it. I feel itchy. I felt it the whole time. Thank uh, you. We watched uh, 1988s, not 1983s, but 1988s. Oh, and nests. not oh. 2021s either. Not 2021s, no. So many nests not, to choose not, from. Not the book. It's not the podcast. This okay. is the cockroach movie. The nest. I know. I was surprised how far into the Amazon Prime lineup we had to go to actually. Right, this pretty movie. far. Yeah. yeah, a lot of nests. It's yeah. kind of a easy basic. Who directed this infestation? Uh, what's his first name? Terrence Winkless. Terrence Winkless. Terrence. <laughs> 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 sounds like a fake name, but it okay. does. It, does, yeah. um, it sounds know. like a name that like kids teased them about. Like that was like the tease name. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because hey Winkless. Winkless. Like <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Terry Winkless is not any better. No, yeah. like, no, Terry, <laughs> Terry Winkless. Yeah. No, no, it sounds awful. Sorry, Terry. <laughs> Sorry, Terry. Yeah, it's not good. Well, we would know uh, Terry from. He wrote the Howling. Oh, yeah. and he's done other okay. things as well. But I think okay. that's that one of his big. I mean, that's okay. like the, that, yeah. That, yeah. yeah that, that, that's like, on par. Yeah, that's on par. No production or producer credits on any of those. Then he just wrote the first one. The Joe Dante, uh, The Howling? Yeah, and probably okay. got, you know, written by as in the, the rest of what What's Terry doing now? Life. Anything? He's, I mean, he's done a few things. Hold on. This was his directorial debut, though. Yes, this though. was his first. The Nest. Okay, so he's sticking within the horror genre. He's a guy who picks a winning oh, he's horse. Done he's a lot of, uh, he's done a lot of TV. He did a lot of episodes of The Power Rangers over the years. There you go. A lot. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? So I, I'm surprised anybody at all was directing those. Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> like, well, there's, yeah. there's American parts to it. He, yeah, I know. He, he, he directs the kids eating hot dogs at the at cafeteria. The mall. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. yeah. Right. and that's right. it. He directs everything in Angel Grove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is wow. not much. Which is the name yeah. of the town. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, when the kids are hanging out at the youth center mm-hmm. uh, yeah. practicing karate, I have, he was directing I those. have zero knowledge of Power Rangers. I'm not going to lie. There's them. not much to know because it's I've... chopped up footage from a Japanese TV show inserted with kids of eating hot dogs. Yep. Like, <laughs> that's Yet what it, that's it was one of the uh, cornerstones of my youth. <laughs> yeah, <same laughs> of a lot of people's, I think. Here. It was a yeah. huge deal. Oh, yeah. I, I remember when that first movie came out. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so uh, the year is 1988, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. Terrence Winkless uh, gets this opportunity <laughs> to make. Uh, oh, did we say this is a, a Concord film? Yes, uh, Concord, uh, right? Produced by Julia Corman on this one, but oh. owned by Roger Corman. But owned by Roger Corman, yes. yeah. Yeah, because this was like he was New World Pictures, then nope. he sold, but all the movies that we think of New World Pictures aren't Roger Corman. They're movies. the other New World. Yeah, he sold it and he yes. formed Concord, yes, and then eventually New Horizons. That's the one. Yes, yeah. And then it was Concord, New Horizons, or something like that. So he just I builds remember, them up, yeah. sells them off, more money to build them up, sell them off. Yeah. Businessman. Did uh, Terrence Winkless also do uh, the Tracy Lord's uh, Not of This Earth movie? Was that him? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. No, but he did do what looks like a karate movie called Blood Fist. I think I'm just looking at it. I think we're going to have to watch this movie at some point. Yes, that was the next year in 1989. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so it's a Roger Corman <laughs> joint, which usually means that it's going to be pretty cheap. Um it's going to be cheap. It's going to be... Oh, I'm sorry. I have to interrupt. Uh, Billy Blanks is in Blood Fist. Oh, oh I, remember the, <laughs> wow. the, yeah, I remember the VHS uh, box for that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you okay. go. Well, okay, well coming blood. soon. <laughs> Blood Fist. Blood Blood Just Fist. A based on name and all. So it's an ecological horror movie. Indeed. Um, we are no stranger to those here on the Saturday Night Freak Show, having done uh, several of them. But we're going to say this is probably coming like late in the cycle. It feels like it. In, in 88, yeah. Late in the cycle. Um, Which started with like Jaws. 
Yeah. Didn't I, we I determine we... it was like it was similar to the slasher cycle and that it like seventies and nineties and there's a lull kind of in the eighties. That's how creature movies go too, it seems like. The animal attack stuff. <sighs> I don't know, because creature movies are like there wasn't. I don't think there was a specific time for them. They always continue they to definitely pop up. peak and valley, though. Yeah, there's they, yes, a lot are. in the yeah. in the yes. seventy because this type of movie, you know, obviously we did Kingdom of the Spiders, mm-hmm. but you have like we did Bug, Squirm, Bug, yep. mm-hmm. uh, Night of the Lepus, <laughs> yeah, Night of the Lepus, <laughs> yes, Frogs, Arachnophobia, mm-hmm. Frogs, yes, Grizzly, yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. Day of the Animals, yep. um, mm-hmm. but then uh, toward the end of the eighties, Orca, Orca, we did Orca, yep. But this is the same year as Slugs, right? Oh, which right. We, also yeah. did. we did Slugs. Yeah. yeah. Which was fantastic, from what I remember. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of random explosions in that movie. Mm-hmm. Yes, there were. I know, like, I couldn't help think of Slugs a lot while we were watching this movie. Slugs is I think the better version I of this. I knew that it was, like, the same year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay. It's like, yeah. Because um, Slugs was a Spanish movie, right? That was made in America, but uh, I, think I think it was. so. It was yeah. dubbed, wasn't it? I was don't it remember. Can't was recall. it? I don't think so. I don't, Maybe I'm I'm I don't think Maybe it I'm was wrong. dubbed. I don't think so. Oh, okay. It's um, been a while. Yeah. All right. So, what's the foundation of the ecological horror movie? What are we going to deal with here in our plot? Well, usually, uh, I mean, it starts with an experiment gone wrong, right? I mean, check. So it's definitely our fault. Uh, the humans. Check. Yeah. <laughs> the experiment gone wrong. Well, specifically, though, it's uh, uh, corporational greed. Is it greed in this one? I mean, uh, he wanted. It always starts out with the best intentions. Let's put it. That I was gonna way. say honestly, like the way it started, it wasn't really about greed. No, he was trying to do something for the good of humanity. Okay. And aren't we all? The well, he hell was, is paid and he he wasn't like the original company that like, in tech, right? In tech yep. was trying to like figure out a way to have cockroaches kill cockroaches right. and want- get rid of the get rid of them altogether because they're a useless creature. But that will outlive us. That all. is the plot yeah. of Mimic. The is it? Yeah. I didn't see Mimic is, in yeah, part is, Yeah. Okay. But then our mayor he was he was like, well, if Robert you know, Lansing, Robert Lansing, mm-hmm. he's like, well, you know, I'm going to bring them in because they're going to pay us to let us use our town. And oh, we're yeah, going to make money for our town. Yes. He, he yeah. they offered to yeah for the money. He says, experiment here so we can yeah keep the town going. Yeah. Because okay, it's an so, island town. I feel right. like no one really had bad intentions here, except for the crazy. Uh, yes. Humanoids from the deep. What was the uh, they were trying to make like. Uh, bigger fish, something like that, so you could eat the. I do not remember. I, mean, I don't. Yeah, is I don't that also like for that? You yeah. know, it's like, hey, we're gonna help humanity by, you know, usually like, you know. Honestly, all I remember about that movie was the carnival. Yeah. Oh That's man. It. Really? All I remember. Oh no, there's a whole. I can only keep thing. so many movies up. Yeah, there. did we watch a lot of movies? <laughs> we watched man. a lot of movies. I remember <laughs> beach <laughs> scenes. I remember a lot of beach scenes, and it was cold, and yeah. people looked really like, yeah, freezing. And you had uh, the dude who was running around yelling at everybody, the the mayor nope. or whatever, in that one too. Don't remember yeah. that. Ironically uh-huh. enough, two of the explosions in this movie are from that movie. Uh, really? <laughs> well, it is a Roger Corman movie. It is. You never, yeah. yeah. If you have a good explosion, you just reuse it. Yeah, they were borrowed. <laughs> okay. Love so it. That's why those look familiar. Love so it. They couldn't even. They couldn't even spring for some gasoline and uh, a match. No. He just borrowed it from another movie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm pretty sure that when his cabin blows up, the um the uh, what's what's his name? Homer. Sure. Homer, yes. Oh, Sorry. Homer, yeah. When, yeah, when Homer's house blows up, that's the that's an explosion like right by the river in That would make sense. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh yep. Yeah. Because when sense. I saw it, I'm like, that looks real familiar. Okay. So yeah, there was some so it's cheaper than we all thought it was. <laughs> all right. So Is that possible? <laughs> we have our uh corporation who is up to no good, experimenting yes. somehow on the uh the the, the insects in yes. this case, mm-hmm. which is gonna come around and bite them in the ass. Uh, who's Literally. our our hero? Our hero is the sheriff. Sheriff Richard. Richard. Sheriff Richard, who okay. inherited his job according to the mayor from yeah. his father, who was the sheriff before him. Well, in a town of seven hundred, I believe it. But geez, <laughs> nepo- nepotism knows no limits. You can just grow up to be yeah. the sheriff. Yeah. <laughs> in a small town like that, I mean, I think it's that's just how it works. so. In the, it's the family business. I know because yeah. I was wondering, Sheriffing. like, did that's, the- how, that's how deep uh, uh, corruption <laughs> happens. Is then when it's just handed down to the next son exactly. Or daughter. Is this, uh, yeah, because I didn't get the impression, did, did he answer to the mayor? I mean, it doesn't seem to be like a city council or anything, right? There's like the mayor, it, right, and then he hired the sheriff. sheriff. Yeah. yeah. That seems to be it, yeah. Okay. 
At uh, one point, above someone, him, there's a governor, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, at like, one yeah. point, someone yells at him that he's going to have to answer to the board for the library. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like there's, so there's some sort of okay. structure okay. here. Right. Checks and balances. Yeah. You know what? That lady seems like she'd be on the board and she'd be very annoying. Yeah, she will. Yeah. She's very upset about her She's books. also from Critters 3. That's the other reason I brought Critters 3. The, um... The, the lady, lady who's got the foot problem, yeah. who's in bed, who gets eaten. She's also the a librarian. Okay, oh, the okay. We'll, yeah, yeah. we'll talk oh, about we'll talk all about these about people in, in great detail as uh, we go through this movie. Okay. But, um, all the, oh, we'll I talk couldn't about tell those, what it was. We'll pancakes. talk about those goddamn pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Um, and then, uh, okay, so the sheriff is, uh, and so this takes place on an island yes. mm-hmm. uh, community. And, uh, it's supposed they, to be it's, a New England community. It is supposed to be a New England community. Okay. Where did you hear this? I well, I've read it on the so internet. It's I know like, the internet lies, but so we're so it's supposed to be like a Nantucket. Yeah, yeah, kind of like okay. Okay. palm trees. I got it. I got sure. it. Yes, they're sure. very vague. Yeah. It's just called yeah. North Point, I think. Right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and it was actually filmed in. Uh, it was filmed in Venice. Um, and one of the studios. Venice or Venice Beach? That, no, <laughs> like Venice in California, Venice. Oh, okay. Not not like Venice. Yeah, that's how I was like, which <laughs> Venice are we talking about here? No, not that Venice. What do they say? Uh, see, it says it takes on uh, Wikipedia says. This. Oh, okay. so, oh I mean, take so it for what you will. clearly it's true. But who's going to go on there and this lie about the nest? A, well, this is from like the liner notes that the studio gave out right. way back in the day or something. Uh, it takes place in a small Terry probably wrote this. town. Probably, <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I get another writing credit. Um, it's uh, Quicksilver Studios in Venice, Los Angeles. Um, but a, and a little bit in Washington State. It Apparently, like. okay, yeah. so they're yeah. doubling for New England. Could be anywhere. It's any town USA. Just a small, isolated, right, inbred community. But it was where... an island. It's an island. Wow, you're an a lot. Well, well, I mean, because that's always the best place to put these horror movies, right? Because like, there's always the threat that you can. Like Salem's Lot, right? You can consume the entire populace, mm. and there's the danger that it'll midnight it get mass, to the main. That it'll eventually get to the mainland. They even say that in this movie. Yeah. It's like this will get to the mainland. Yep, that's always the threat. It's mm. going to start here small. This is the apocalypse that we're looking at. It's right. an apocalypse movie. Um, so, do you sacrifice your life to stop it from getting to the main island, or you just fuck off and leave? Exactly. Oh, yeah. This is gonna, what our These characters are, are going to have to go through yes. in the context in the course of this movie. Okay, so we have the sheriff. Shades of uh, Brody from uh, Jaws. Feels like it, yep. Mm-hmm. There is a line at the very beginning. I think he gets like a phone call that wakes him up, and it's he, he says something. I was like, well, it's probably what did, uh, one of the tourists wash up on the beach, and it's like, okay, this is clearly a nod to, to Jaws. Right. Um, there are many nods in this movie. So this guy wakes up, and we're introduced to this character. What was his name? Richard. Richard. Richard um, and uh, he has a cockroach problem. He lives in like the Unabomber cabin, he, no, but he's, ten times dirtier. He's got a a, a cleanliness problem, yes, which leads yeah. to a roach problem. Uh, That's what's going on. Yeah, because like his house is on like a main street. It's not like he's out in the middle of nowhere. He's right. just a slob. Yeah, we don't get the sense that he's like an alcoholic or he's battling his demons or anything. He's just kind of <laughs> he's, he's just a slob. He's he, just you know like the bachelor where he yeah. just doesn't right. like clean he needs anything a woman to come clean yeah. up his life. <laughs> right. <laughs> So he's got cockroaches useless. in his coffee when he wakes up yeah, in the he's morning. Also not he's sleeping useless. in his work uniform and just rolls out of bed and goes to work like that. So yeah. he's Hopper, basically. It mm-hmm. isn't, but they don't yeah. even give like any kind of you know nod to like deodorant or quick you know wash yourself down. No anything. horse he bath. Says, nope. Nothing. He yeah. just gets no. in the okay. Uh, he's got a predicament going on in his life, and that is because he uh, goes. We we find out that uh, at the diner. Where he goes to, uh, mm-hmm. I suppose, get a real cup of coffee. Seems like where everyone <laughs> in the town goes. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't, we don't have a bar. Usually in a small town, you got a bar. You know, that's where everybody congregates. Here we have a diner. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Yes. This made me. I was like, mm, I miss going to a diner. I've been to one in a while. I, I know. Like, right? I should go to one. They're so always happening the in movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're always the place to be. Diner. Yeah, I know. I love the, a good diner. It's like uh, you get your community news from talking to your neighbors oh, yeah. at right. the diner. That's why it would be the happening hotspot on an island. Yeah. Right. Uh, but he is uh, having a romance with the waitress, who yes. we can't remember her name, so we're just going to call her the did waitress. She, I, I think did it was she Lillian. Give her names? Yeah, oh, yeah. Name. Lil, Lil, she... yeah, Lillian, something like that. Yeah. She's dead. Um, okay, and then because it's a, a small island, everybody is going to be connected to everybody. Lillian's dad is a hobo who Jake, lives, yes. he's a fisherman, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, something. He's a hobo. He's a he hobo. lives in a in a dumpster. He's I the, think she says at some point. Well, he hangs out at the junkyard. At the junkyard, yes. Yeah, not dumpster. Lives... Junkyard. <laughs> yeah. Did she say something like, like Jesus she said, no, she said junkyard. junkyard. Hangs out of the junkyard. <laughs> hangs out of the junkyard. Jesus he's Callen. He's basically the hobo who finds uh Michael. He finds the killer and rehabilitates him before he comes back in every other horror. Yeah, movie. He, yeah. he is. <laughs> the he's the hobo who finds Michael Myers. Halloween Five. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. 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 That guy and everyone. Yeah. All right, but he's eccentric, uh, living by the beach, wearing his little Boston hat. Um, what is he always saying? He's not. He's giving advice to people. He's oh like, yeah, you know don't, leave, never, don't leave food out. Yeah, yeah, you know how you don't get cockroaches. You get rid of cockroaches. Don't leave food out. But they're all. It's like bad advice, or just like, yeah. It, well, he's the town crazy. It's like, but he doesn't come off as like crazy or a town like, eccentric. He's, yeah, he's eccentric. Sorry, mm-hmm. I will yeah. refrain from crazy. He's the eccentric. But he, um, okay, he's living a good life. But the, he seems the, happy. I know, he, and he seemed like a normal guy. It's like he can do better. Well, you can do well, better. Buddy. Normal's a stretch, but yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so anyway, the sheriff in his predicament because mm-hmm. he is uh, romancing uh, the, the waitress. waitress. Sure. Yes, but She's also- like, "Come by later." Mm-hmm. But his life is about to get super complicated. Mm-hmm. How come? Because mm-hmm. there's a return. There's always a return, Colin. Mm-hmm. Uh, the once love of his life yeah, has the, returned. The one that got away. Yes, who literally left him without saying anything. Went off to the big city, Los Angeles. To pursue her career, what does she want to be? She. Uh, it sounds like yeah. she's like a journalist. That's what she wrote yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. She want to be a journalist? Yeah. Um. It seems like her mother has died recently, so she has come back to the island. Okay. She's kind of in an impact. Well, I think she. she I think her do. mom died, and that's part of the reason she left. There you go. That could be it yeah. as well. Oh yeah, she did say that she yeah. wanted to get away from it all, where she wasn't under the image of her father or what happened to her mother because mm-hmm. her father is the mayor yeah oh well, that there it is complicates things yes. okay so uh, uh yes and the sheriff works for the mayor <laughs> right love We're triangle right. rhombus we got any other <laughs> <Yep>. shapes <laughs> mm-hmm. there's not enough people Travis in this town light. for a pentagon no there's so. not mm-hmm. yeah okay so uh love pentagram and it's lisa <laughs> langlois as uh as the uh elizabeth who returns yes. to town who this audience will remember of course from happy birthday to me I have never seen it. It's on my movie. list. I've Somebody never please. seen it. I might, I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah, if nobody brings it, I'm going to have to because I've never seen it and it keeps popping up in my I've life. I've never yep. seen it. Okay. All well, I see is that fucking. The skewer poster? Yeah. 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 Yep. Well, speaking of posters, oh. I guess now's a good time to bring this up because, like, uh, as you're, you've been scrolling through uh, your Amazon Prime or your Netflix. Or, or if you've been interested in this movie and wanted to look something up, you've probably seen this poster. Or you used to go to the video store. Oh. How would you identify this movie? By its poster. Lady fucking a roach. Bam. She well, all right. She is being strangled by the roach. Like she is being attacked. You can look it at is- the cover. She's, <laughs> she's reaching for her throat. Yes, I, but it's but just, she's I also, didn't, but she's I also in sexual life, position. panties, and that's it. I need yeah. to see this. I and it's definitely like out. mounting her. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's uh, 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 no, a I have not seen probable uh, coupling between a human and a and a cockroach, yeah. and we're like, wow, this is the movie, and somehow I've avoided it all my life, yep. even with that promise. And I now hate it. Should we tell people right now whether or not they're going to get served? Yeah. What they are expecting from this movie or not. They're not going to get a (laughs) uh, giant giant cockroach romancing a lady, I'll tell you that. All right. I was disappointed. Fucking disappointed. This poster is a liar. There's no truth in advertising. And we're looking at the poster right now. Holly's looking at the poster right now. Holly's scrutinizing it. She looks a little bit confused, a little bit intrigued. Uh, the the actress. This, this is not the movie we watch. No, no, it is not. Uh, the <laughs> actress was also not very. She was not a fan of this poster because she's like, "Why does it look like the, the, I'm being romanced by a cockroach?" Yeah. Is it her? It's supposed to be her. Technically, it's, just it's an some, illustration of someone that uh, yeah. looks like. Yeah, her. Yeah, kind of. Like she to, shouldn't have been offended. I don't think. Is this yeah. supposed to be the doctor or no? That's supposed to be the, the blonde? blonde. I think. Beth? See, that's why I'm is like, this Beth? Be Beth? Yes. that is just a woman being menaced right. by a giant yeah. For some reason, she took it as her. I'm just looking, called... now I'm looking at the taglines. Roaches have never tasted meat until now. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. That's true. <laughs> and then Leaning into she's it. just an appetizer. Yeah. Bam. Uh, bam. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Makes you want to watch it. It but does. But that's motherfuckers. You're not going to get it, even though we thought maybe for a while that we were going to. But she we'll was get to acting that. like she wanted to fuck that cockroach. We're, the doc- the doctor. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll get to the, the doctor. But first of all, okay, so as we're building this pyramid of characters. Yes. So Elizabeth's returned to town and her dad is the mayor. Mm-hmm. Okay. So who's her, her dad? Robert Lansing. Who you would all know from? I mean, I recently watched him in 
An Eye for an Eye, a movie with Patrick oh, Wayne, yeah, John yeah. Wayne's son, which is actually not a bad movie. Um, and so I was. Where the, do you find these things? <laughs> for work. <laughs> I'm I, like, you're saying these things like I know, like I, I didn't know John Wayne had a son that acted. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Sinbad like, at one point. They were in like movies Wayne. together and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was the one of the sons I, of Katie? I'm no, sorry, I'll uh, keep uh, up. Katie Elder? No, no, no. Yeah, God, I don't no, keep up on my. Yeah, yeah, he's in Sons of Katie Elder. He's in a bunch. Jake. Okay, I'm not 80 years old. I don't keep up on my John Wayne. I'm sorry. Jesus. We're film historians, damn it. We just Yeah, and I think John Wayne's overrated. Oof. Yeah. Great. Come at me. About it. I, I watched American. No, I won't yeah. catch yeah. because that is something that like I'm also talking to listeners. Come at me about John <laughs> right, Wayne. Right, right. But I don't no. think anybody's going to come at you for John Wayne because it's John Wayne. Because we don't have 80 year olds listening to this podcast. Well, there, well, I don't think anybody <laughs> in general would. It's like you don't like John Wayne. Mm -hmm. It's true, but if you're like me, you watched a lot of John Wayne growing up, like yes. at my yeah. grandparents' house or with my brother. Like yeah. we watched, we watched a lot of John. Or yeah. just recently, when you went on a John Wayne I, Western I, kick. No, I can't honestly say I've never done that. No, I was watching the Robert Lansing movie. It was for work, which is how I end up, and I was like. This guy's got a good voice, seems like a good actor, and I don't know Robert Lansing for much, so I looked up his film and I was like, oh, then he's in The Nest. I always want to watch The Nest, especially with that poster. Let's bring it to the freak show. But wasn't he but famous also, for, like, what was it? He did war movies yeah, the, and. Yeah. Show. Uh, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock right? high? Yeah. So the was 80 year the olds in the audience watching? will. I think I watched 12 o'clock high as well. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this audience will remember him from his role in Empire of the Ants. Oh, I've never seen another it. Seen it. No. giant monster movie. Okay. Uh, Damn, <laughs> I do watch like bugs. <laughs> From the director of Food of the Gods. Okay. Oh. Oh, that one? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, they did Food of the Gods yep. and they did Empire of the Ants. Okay. Um, okay, so the mayor is in cahoots with Intech. Yes. Right. Now, Intech... I know we're told eventually later is a pharmaceutical company or something, right? We're, it's explained to us that they're building, developing condos in a certain area of the island. So I'm yeah. like, they're a real estate company, but no. They're they like are. Umbrella at this point. Yeah. They just I mean, do everything. It's in mm -hmm. tech. Yeah, it sounds scientific like they're doing some kind of research. We yeah. don't know what they're up to yet. Well, they but. say that they're developing condos. Or that's not actually happening, right? That's a front. Is it? I didn't see any condos being yeah, developed. Yeah, that's, that's a front for their. That's lab. just so they could wall yeah. off a certain yes. specific yes. Uh, area of the mm -hmm. of the to do island. experiments yes. and whatnot. Okay, there we go. Um, and then there's also uh, there's also the well, well, usually in these type of movies, you need the uh, the scientific um, you know point of view, right? Mm -hmm. The entomologist, mm -hmm. right, who would come in and explain the biologist, if somebody right. explain a, what they're what what yeah, is happening. The doctor here. who has to be called in. It's a staple of fifties mm -hmm. movies all the way through, yes. uh, th and this one has Homer, the pest control man. Indeed, my favorite character. Okay. Of course, he is. Yeah, we all love this character when they show up in movies. This <laughs> yeah. guy, Homer, yeah. uh, John Goodman in Arachnophobia. Yeah, you just God, yes. I love the guy who's dedicated his life to eradicating insects. <laughs> yeah. What kind you go of hunting? I go is. hunting every day. Uh, yes, he's got some good lines in this movie. He is one of the best parts of this movie, and he's like one of the happiest characters. He is. It's just he's like jolly. he's just all the shit's going down, but he's just dealing with it. He's just like, well, this is what we got to do. So he's like, just another day at the job. Yeah, <laughs> he's very chipper. He is. I like him. Mm -hmm. uh, will he survive the movie is the question. You're gonna have what to will be left out. of him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so trouble starts brewing mm. on this island. Trouble, Colin? How do we know that there's trouble on the island? The music tells us so. Ooh, chittering. <laughs> chittering, Colin. There's a lot of chittering in this movie. A lot of chittering. <laughs> the cockroaches uh, make a very specific noise uh, when they're Coming up upon them. Uh, yeah. Can we all do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like we, not like quite a chirping, not quite a rattling. Yeah. It's, it's a chittering. It's a chit I mean, yeah. yeah. No, it is. Yeah. I don't even know if that's the right word. That Early is, uh, on, there is a. Uh, oh, there's animal. It's not a junkyard dog. It was a dog on a on a chain. But what was it guarding? I think it was like was, the was model trailer. trailer yeah. Right. Yeah. It was like yeah. We're. Oh wait, was that the was that the development? Because she was near the. Um, is that the development trailer? Yeah, yeah, it's like this is your model home. It said something in front of it. I it said like Galaxy like, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. couldn't read it. I was trying to Galaxy figure out what Galaxy condos. Was. Probably. Right. I think it was. Uh, maybe. I, I think the it was, manager's office. Mm. I think it was basically like the whoever was like hired to guard the yeah. the property. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can't go any farther than this. Yeah. And, um, and unfortunately, in creature features, the first ones to go are the animals. <sighs> Sorry, Holly. I did not know. 
I have not seen this movie. I get a pass you know, for the these. The, the, uh, no, you don't. Yes, no, you, no, you, you don't. No. If, if you're keeping score at home, folks, this is yet another movie <laughs> oh, Sean has brought. Full. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that not only features animal murder, but features some of the most heinous animal murder. Oh, yeah, yeah, this has like got a good one. The yeah. dog, it really does. <laughs> the dog was bad, but it's not the worst. Yeah. No. Well, the dog sees something moving in the tall grass, and this oh. is one of those things Rappers. where kind of like, uh, yeah, it's like the raptors of Jurassic Park or Basically, he who yes. walks behind the rose yes. in uh, Children of the Corn. And you see the it's moving, but it's moving in a line and it's getting closer mm-hmm. and closer. <laughs> and then we don't really see what's happening. There's a lot of uh, close up cuts and then the dog goes. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Yep. And then she, uh, Beth, who went out for a walk, a stroll, you know, to clear her head now that she's back, you know, yeah. uh, because well, you know, it's is she going to get back together with Rick? Or, you know, yeah, what is she going to do with her life? Or, and so mm-hmm. she comes across the carcass of this animal, mm. which has been skinned. But even more importantly, there is evidence left on the body. What the fuck did they call it? Parapl- there, it there's cockroach shit. On the- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turned everywhere. <laughs> on the stalk. Uh, which is basically just black wild rice. Yeah. yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. Because <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I'm like, it's cockroach shit. But, uh, yeah, Colin, no. Yeah, because later on, of course, Homer has to like put the shit in his mouth. Oh, yeah, you got to taste it, it to, yeah. just to get the you know the consistency. That's how you know he's Blah, dedicated sorry. to his job. Yeah, he's like, yeah. uh, this movie's gross. Uh, this man. movie's very gross it's, in many regards. <laughs> the carpets alone. The flooring in this fucking movie is so disgusting. It, it was more bothersome than I thought. It <laughs> Every carpet is like stained or has cigarette holes in it, or yeah, it's just it's, concrete it's with no carpet, just it. concrete it's, floor. All these houses look like they're either about to be demolished or they're unfinished model homes. Yeah. And they're really gross. They're not complete yeah. normal houses. There's something no. up. They got a deal on something yeah. to film yeah, here. Probably. That's what it feels like. I mean, it doesn't feel oh. like a set or they got no. remnants, but I mean, even you can't get remnant carpet that looks that bad. No, no. 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 These have that to be condemned carpet. houses or something, right? That is the carpet right? you take yeah. out to upgrade to new carpet. Yeah. That's yeah. been there forever. It's flat and dirty. Like, get, like, you know, it's like, uh, okay, just, you know, give us a uh, condemned homes, do you? You have in your, you know, because well, there's condemned. plywood doors and stuff yeah. too. Yeah, like, I thought I saw plywood around the fireplace. Yeah, yeah, it was not a great place. No wonder why mm-hmm. they have cockroaches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the, like the trim is uneven, and there's like patchy like paint job. Mm-hmm. It's bad. Yeah. It gives the whole movie this kind of. It, it's like a, it's a it's a subconscious thing that kind of seeps in as you're watching it. That it's just like skeevy in some way. Yeah. This whole yeah. movie's it's not grimy. Like a it is movie, grimy, but yeah, yeah, it's got a grime to yeah. it. Like a real grind. Yeah. You know? And you know, it's just, it's bad when you have to, for an island, if you uh, have an insect problem, you have to chase down the one guy who can get rid of it as he drives by on his moped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that is your defense against these things. And his defense is he's got one of them old time uh, cartoon <laughs> uh, <laughs> pump action. Gas with, pumps. Yeah. Yeah. So you go spray it with this. Yeah, I saw so many, so many cartoons. <laughs> right, I don't think I've ever seen one in real life though. No, usually had cartoons. acne yeah. on the side of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but there you go. Bam, we've seen one. Yeah, well, in real life. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, that is the, our first uh, b- uh, precursor that something is horribly amiss. But the mayor recognizes right away. Yes. That like this is a, wait was it right off the dog uh, death or once uh, Jack. Um, waitress's father meets his untimely or Jake, end. yeah. Jake? No, yeah. I think they call in after the dog. Yeah. After yeah. the dog, he's because like, he's I like, know what this is. Yeah. And you got to do something about it on the phone. He's well, Yes. He's being very vague early on and then very secretive later when Dr. Hubbard comes in. Dr. Hubbard. Dr. Okay, Hubbard. so maybe I misspoke. Then Dr. Hubbard is the science uh, person. She is, who yes. Who is going to explain to us like, what the hell is going on. But she also works for Intech. She she's has like, she has a biased interest. Yes. Yeah, she's that lawyer. Yeah. She's the Jurassic Park lawyer, but she's the lawyer that every company sends because they work for the company. Yeah, yep. they will say what they need to say in the mm-hmm. paperwork and all that. Okay, shit. so she so didn't she's not on the up and up. Develop the thing. Is she on the team that that created this uh, chemical yeah. or whatever genetic? She's yeah, because right, we hear from Molly, right, the uh, dispatcher, Millie. Who, Millie, Millie, who we never Sounds meet like in the there. entire movie. Yes, and unfortunately, Aww, when Millie. we do. When we do find her, she's been eaten by the cockroaches. Oh yeah, Millie is the uh, is the guy in the chair for Richard. Yeah, because she he's always sheriff, calling back. Right, yeah, yeah, the yeah. sheriff calling back, getting info. He tells her to look up, uh, cross reference. Um, what was from Stone Cold? What was it? 
the, uh, cross, he was cross, yeah, cross uh, reference. Joe cross Huff reference. was cross reference. Yeah, with, yeah. yeah. cross indexed with uh, cross index. That's John it. Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's asking her to cross reference the names and stuff to see who she really is. Um, we get a history on her as well. Because she, she was a geneticist. She was a geneticist. Doctor she Hubbard was kicked out. Yeah, of MIT mm-hmm. for experiments. Oh uh, uh, yeah, illegal yeah. Nazi experiments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what yeah. kind of experiments? Are illegal. Yeah, that's dun, a line dun, in this movie. Dun, mm-hmm. It's like a soap opera. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and then uh, there was no look to the camera. Though. <laughs> I know. Right. It, well, it felt like there was, but there wasn't. Um, so. As this movie went on, like it got to that level. It, it did. did. Like at the beginning, it wasn't that movie, and then by the end, it was. The tone shifted. Yeah, it was, there was the tonal movie. shift was very obvious, but like, it shifted into something I wanted. Yes. Like I yes. wanted what they shifted into. It took too long to get where I wanted. It. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Because at that point, then we're just shooting radios and yeah, having conversations. Well, yeah. Okay. So there's a scene <laughs> in this movie funny. that was hilarious where <laughs> our heroes are under attack by the savage uh, insects, and mm. they're in a car and they're driving. And I think in order to try and keep the insects from getting into the car, they're trying to stuff shit into all the vents. And right, rolling up the windows and, and they're spraying and uh, CO2, you know, the fire extinguishers and the guy at one point mashes the stereo which starts playing, that uh, wasn't the opera, was it? The opera came earlier but it, No, it was opera. Oh, that they, was the, no, that was they it. Kept La re- was earlier. They kept revisiting various <laughs> opera. Right, yeah. operas in this right, one. Wait, but we, they played La Cucaracha. They played La Cucaracha yes. in one of the the gross diner scenes. The, the diner scene. Yeah. Yeah. Come back to that one. It was really yeah. gross. We'll come okay, back to so uh, but this scene in the car, uh, and so at some point, like <laughs> we got Richard, air. Yeah, and Richard like turns to Homer, right, and he's like, uh, he's going he asked him a question. I can't remember what the question was, but the the music, the opera is so loud. Oh, that- he said, he said, there's a queen. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah right. Yeah. It's like what the startling reveal. Yeah. And Richard just fucking fires just blank face, stares at him, and fires his gun at the radio to shove it to shut it off. And then he's like, continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the tone that we yes. make a dramatic shift in. Yeah, into. in the third act. We yeah. in the third, third act. act. Yeah. Like Twenty minutes left to go. Yeah. When yeah. everything's starting to go bonkers yeah. In, yeah. The, in, in the plot. That's, yeah. Okay, so backing up though, before yes. we get to this uh, shift, okay, so uh, uh, the people are the deaths are starting to mount up. Jack is now. Dead. Oh yeah, Jake is dead. He got so his Jake, yeah. uh, like he got his arm bitten off and taken out. That was fun. He his arm didn't taken was, away. <laughs> I didn't realize what was happening. Like he gets attacked in his little home, and so yeah. uh, in his bed he gets taken to pieces, and most of his arm falls off on the ground. Like it's been bitten like, off, like from elbow to like the yeah. rest. Like that was yeah. a pretty good effect. It was yeah. a good effect because I'm like it jiggled like a uh, like an arm yeah. would when it gets chopped off a body. Trust me. Um, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> And then it just starts moving away. And for a minute, I forgot we had cockroaches in the league. So I'm like, where's it going? Yeah, it's like, where the fuck? Because it's going backwards. It's not like right. cr- hand yeah. crawling. It's right. just like, and you're like, what? You don't see any cockroaches. No, it's but just, they're under there. Yeah, just arm moving that's away. pretty funny. <laughs> see, that's, um, that's good. And then uh, the, um, was he the cook at the diner? Yeah. The cook at the diner is yep, he's right? in this movie. Yeah. This movie came out after the blob, obviously. So there's a lot of this is the guy came who, out after the blob. It came out after yeah, this uh came out after Gremlins because there's a mm-hmm. gremlin scene in this movie. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's several influences Nons. that yeah. we saw. Yes. Um the but thing. he he ends up in a, in going out to the garbage can out back yeah. in the He's diner. taking the trash out, yeah. He is, and he's got a sh- uh like tamp it down because it's getting full and everything. So you got to get in there and stomp it down as you would in the garbage. And when he started doing that, the only thing I wanted was for him to get attacked, but then just slowly, like his legs were getting eaten out from yeah. underneath him and go down. Now they did that a little bit in the movie, but not from the wide angle. No, yeah. No. Cause I, I was thinking of the blob scene where the guy got pulled down. Oh yeah. He gets pulled into the sand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was I was good. like, you need to see something like that where he's grabbing onto the yeah. side of the thing. Like, Oh, 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 and you yeah. see blood and body parts spraying right. out. But we do get happen. a good, he reaches because he reaches down and, he's pushed down, and it brings his hand up and his fingers. That was a good effect. Spouting blood, yeah. which is fun. Um, so with these deaths uh, mounting and the pressure, also mounting on yeah. official them to like explain what the hell's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Hubbard conducts an experiment and to do so, she catches a cat. Mm. <sighs> she does because this is a movie that's been brought here by Sean. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he is. And it has. Yep. So she puts the cat in a little glass cage. Look, this is my curse people. I'm sorry that, but we all have to suffer. Yeah, your I, curse like, I feel like you. this is my curse. Yeah. That's very Sean. true. Actually, <laughs> 
But yes. And yeah, this is one of the it's gnarliest. Unpleasant. <laughs> it's, it's not. Yeah, this it's, is oh, as yeah. bad as Bug, if not worse. This is really unpleasant. Uh, yeah. And Bug, and Bug remember, were the little, they were like little cockroaches that uh, their asses made fire. Right. Yeah. They sparked. Yeah, yeah, they sparked and would set everything on fire. Uh, we did an episode on it. You got to yeah. go check it out. Um, in this one, well, I think like those Madagascar hissing cockroaches mm. are used for like a lot of the scenes. The hissing ones, there's a lot mm. of there's flying cockroaches that yeah. they used in this as well, which yeah. And so she puts a couple of them in the or she, she right? traps the cat to uh, in a clear box to draw in the cockroaches. Yeah, yeah. and they yeah. do. And then they eat the cat, and we get to see it happen, mm-hmm. kind of. It just Mostly. keeps cutting back to, and I'm not sure if that was a puppet cat or a real cat, a cat covered in caro yeah, like, syrup and blood food color, but whatever. Mm-hmm. It's screaming. That yep. was a real cat. Yeah. Yeah. That it was, keeps yeah. cutting back to it. It looks extremely uncomfortable yeah. Yeah. and gross. And that's and that's why it was so, like, I, I don't think that the cat was, like, physically harmed during this necessarily, but it was just very it unhappy. It was pretty distressed. Yeah. It was, it was very was unhappy. Just being and I did not like that. that. Yeah. Because yeah, he was covered yeah. Yeah. heavily. Don't worry. Yeah. It gets its revenge, ladies and gentlemen. It actually does. Oh, because the cat comes back. Again, third <laughs> the third act. Next twist. <laughs> um, Thought it was gonna. So we'll have to come back to that. Okay, so uh, the so she gases uh, the thing, but it turns yeah. out that the level of gas that it's going to take to actually kill these cockroaches would be lethal to humans. Yeah. Yes. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> Good tag team. There. So the mayor's got to evacuate everybody off the island, right. of which, as far as we could tell, there's like five people who live on the island. Whatever <laughs> right, this happened should be too to. Hard. Um, the Punisher. Uh, the fried cook that looked like John Bernthal? Wasn't that the... Was that the cook or wasn't it the other guy who came to the mayor at the beginning who was wearing the 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 hat? Oh, yeah. You remember him? No. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't remember that. Yeah, because he was yep. at the diner. I'll take like, your word Did for he it. just get written out of the movie? Because uh, they can't even remember him, these two. No. Oh, the guy with the hat. Yeah. yeah. He, oh, the guy who looked like Kolchak? Wasn't he wearing like the he hat? He didn't look like John Bernthal. I thought he was the one you would say to look no, like John Bernthal. No, the cook looked like John Bernthal. That guy also looked like John Bernthal. <laughs> okay. But he's... We got Everyone John looks Bernthal. like John Bernthal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Last he's we see the multiverse him. of John Bernthal. <laughs> um, no, last we see, I think he's loading bodies into a truck, and then we don't see him anymore. Remember? The blue truck? That's right. They found two people at the yeah, on the beach dead. Covering all this up. Yeah, so... No, he, yeah, he gets... Cause he, he's driving along, and then he, oh, he, he's oh, the explosion on the truck. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. the guy that drives off the bridge. Right. That's right. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Yes. There we go. Okay. So we figured it out. <laughs> so they have to activate. So the, the, the mayor says we got to evacuate everybody, but we got to do it in like five hours, right? It's got to be yeah, done 5 by, by 5 a.m. Otherwise, Intech is sending choppers and they're going to spray this lethal gas over the whole place. But if you see the lighthouse tower uh, on, mm-hmm. then don't then call off your attack. And so now we have a timer. And so yep. now the stakes are as high as they're ever going to be. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then the uh, the cockroaches attack. But not before. Okay, right before we get a cockroach, we get into the, the cockroach attacks. Uh, this this uh, love triangle. Yeah. Does yeah. it resolve itself? How how's, what, what happens the here? The cockroaches resolve it. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. The, uh, yeah, we cut back to the diner where we find waitress by herself well they they do have waitress and elizabeth do oh they have do have a, a confrontation moment. first oh yeah. okay they do have a confrontation first and yeah before and we get there also down. the uh the uh, uh elizabeth right uh and richard i'm, I'm making back, sure i got his, his name right yes yep do have that that moment uh yeah this the, was after the confrontation between the two of them wasn't it the yes. sex was yes yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it was before the gremlin scene right but right yeah so so he actually has like uh like uh, forgot all about her <laughs> or was he seduced well no i think the, i think i think the really- whole, i honestly i think the whole thing was like i mean yeah he cared about the waitress but she was the one that got away and him dating the waitress was simply because like he couldn't have the one he wanted yeah so and in that moment you know he really gave her up quick yeah, because it's like not even another thought until he finds her later. But yeah, yeah. and then and that kind of doesn't. No, uh, yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't right. gel. So but she's get, also. How do we get to that? I guess like so. What happens in the uh, in the diner when the, the 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 animals attack? Well, she's very angry. 
Right. She's so, had a home, bad day. Yeah. Dad's dead. She sees her boyfriend going off with another woman, so she's yeah. just in a bad mood. I just feel bad for her. I kind of do, too. I know. It, does, it doesn't do well life. for her. She's no. had a rough life. Yeah. I feel bad for her. She even, like, during their confrontation in the diner, when when Beth comes in and sits down, she's like, hey, it's been a while. And she's like, look, here's the thing, <laughs> she bitch. <laughs> she's like, my dad lives in a junkyard. <laughs> I'm a waitress at this shitty-ass diner, and the only thing that gives me up in the morning is that the only decent guy in town comes to see me every day right and i'm like speak right? your truth bitch right? i love it she's like she got a point i get it <laughs> so you left yeah it's mine now yeah. like my you turn went, <laughs> you went to the big city and you couldn't find a guy so yeah. you gotta come back here and take my guy right. like come on yeah. go back to la yeah. Yeah. like i had mad pro- mad respect for the waitress yeah. at this yeah. point so yeah that confrontation because then Beth is like all right and just like turns around she and does, leaves <laughs> And then goes and so, talks Richard. I know. Whatever. Did she seduce him then? Because like uh, she gets. Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. She's like, vulnerable. It's all about vulnerability. Okay, they never stopped go. loving each other. Right. right you know, right. like that wasn't. Yeah, like, she takes that was, a shower. Loving you was never the problem. And, like she needs a shirt, yeah. and he has to pull a clean shirt off the floor of his roach. I don't know. I just. I feel like you're wanting to like make her a temptress, and no. I don't yeah. see it that way. I don't, I don't see it that I'm, way. I'm exploring if it's there. No, it's not because he was saying all that stuff about like he still had feelings for her. Yeah. Was, yeah. They had that whole back and forth. As about soon that. as yeah. she, as soon as he picked her up from the airport, he was like, "I missed you." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like it's, yeah. it's right away. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's mutual. Yeah. Homer is in the diner when this confrontation between the two women. Yeah, is going she was on. like, "Homer, keep working." <laughs> it's kind of funny. He's like, "I just want to get out of here." Like, Every single leave? person in the town is like, "Oh, did you hear Elizabeth's back?" And like, uh, um, okay, so um, also Elizabeth prior to this has found. A cave that has right. Intex stuff in it and a bomb. Because they used to play Monopoly down there. In the cave. Yep. Yeah, right. Like, like yeah, you do. Great place to play Monopoly. Yeah. First of all, I fucking hate Monopoly. I know, Second of all, sucks. I don't want to play in a goddamn cave. No. <laughs> Monopoly sucks under good circumstances. That sounds like wow. The, that sounds like <laughs> the worst. A lot of bombshells from YouTube tonight <laughs> that are really just. <laughs> I'm sorry. It but takes. Too, what, what don't you don't like Monopoly? It takes no, too long. It's too much man. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Has anyone ever finished a game in less than like three hours? Yeah. No, but it's a game of life. The no, life goes way life. faster it's than that. It's not. Game. Yeah. It's, it's the game of consumer. I, I, yeah, just, yeah. I don't like it. Game of <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> so it's boring. And that's the worst day ever. Playing Monopoly in a cave. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, the that's worst not... date of all time. Yeah. All the, all that paper money's going flying. Yeah, but they it's, wrote it their, is because yeah. there's an IOU. Yeah. yeah. And they wrote their little heart. You know, uh, Elizabeth oh, yeah, yeah, loves Richard, Richard up there. But she finds this bomb. Uh, with a handy uh, digital readout, you of know, course. so we know, th- and some dynamite just yep. laying around, so we know this is going to happen la- or come back later. Yep. So then the roaches attack. Uh, and we're talking about this movie. We've said before that it's gross. It's like, it, it is gory, but not like, it's like fun 80s gore. Mm. Yeah. Right. But, but there's also gross. Because in the diner, oh. because the I mean, diner, it, this is okay, gross. The, yeah, the gross starts with the carpets. Yeah. yeah, and yes. then and it, it just spans to pancakes being dropped in the carpet oh, and yeah. syrup, and then the diner That's she has foot. like okay that yeah. was doing it for somebody that was shot was in uh, there purposely that's weird. a oh. foot fetish scene a hundred percent weird she's got honey all or syrup all over her foot and she's rubbing her other foot and there's like a it was really slow gross. pan oh, down no. shot it is it's like she yeah. doesn't yeah. realize really that, that is in there for there, somebody and she's really left gross. like a trail of uh of heavy honey. a trail of heavy syrup she syrup. dropped pancakes on this dirty ass carpet and then scooped them back up and put them on a plate for this lady you know how much hair and Duh. stuff is stuck to those yeah. 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 C- c- cigarette a- ash and nerve. lint. And- yeah, it was black. On yeah, the floor. so yeah. grimy and disgusting. But and in this diner, and then, yeah, and then the, the diner scene, we've got waitress who's basically having like a full on like battle with the cockroaches. I mean, Hundreds she's having a meltdown them. plus yeah. a battle with the cockroaches. She's yeah, like I've had a bad but fucking it's, day. And it's super gross because they they keep mixing cockroaches and food. Yeah, that's all, why it's so like gross. they're cooking and there's hundreds of cockroaches in the stuff they're cooking, but they're still continuing to make it anyways. It's well, like yeah, it's like, like the, the blend. 
blender's going with cockroaches and food in it. They were, the deep fryer's going. Oh, this, but, this but, made me made me yeah, never want to eat it. But a she's not like actually. Again. She's, she's not, not like cooking, actually. She's punishing. Yeah, them, she's yeah. not actually cooking food. She's just trying to destroy them in the ways you can in a diner. Right, but yeah. there's food in with. I know yeah. it's so while gross. Doing it. Yes, it's not. She's not just using the tools. Right. The food is still all it's in like, all these things. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's not, not just. Yeah, it's fries and cockroaches mm-hmm. going in the fryer, yeah. and it's like a smoothie and cockroaches yeah. in the blender. Yeah, that yeah. one she's, really. Ooh. And she's pouring coffee on the counter. She's talking to them. And yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. You need more coffee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's yeah. She's losing it. She's losing it. I don't blame she's her. She's had a bad day. I don't blame her. Yeah, yeah. And then we find out later. But she also went out like a goddamn. She shouldn't have gone out this way. No, this from is, where she this was. was. But she had the least painful death of anybody. That's she did. Sure. Cockroaches didn't quite get her. Yeah, but it's weird that we didn't see, like, I mean, that scene ends with, you know, like, her fighting off the cockroaches. Mm -hmm. And then later, Richard comes to the diner, and it's like, Beth, Beth! And we're like, oh, shit, because he's already found Millie's dead, and, like, all these other people are dead. Not Beth. No, not Beth, sorry. The waitress. uh, waitress. (laughs) uh, Lillian. Yes. The waitress. And he goes to the, we see the the freezer door. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, this isn't good. So she he opens the freezer door, and she is in there. She, she got in there. She froze to death. Froze to death. How long was she in there to freeze to death? Or is this like a deep freeze where it's like sub-zero? I mean, maybe. And maybe it doesn't like, have any air. Maybe, maybe like it does. Well, they're meant to seal up. Air. Yeah, yeah. But it also should have that switch on the back. Yeah. It's just, I've, I don't know. I, I used to this, work at a restaurant, and deep freezes, like, they're cold, but. They're not that cold. Not yeah. to freeze that quickly. No. Yeah. This movie is full of, of situations where people could run out a front door. Probably very easily to get away from these things, and they don't. Tell me about classic that. horror movie. I know, <laughs> but she—I mean, she's in the diner. She probably instead of standing there for the yeah. hour and battling them, she could have run away. The impression yeah. is like Kingdom of the Spiders. If you go outside, there's hordes of these things. Right, yeah. they're crawling all over the house, so you can't open the door. You can't. But anytime the they show outside, they're not. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the problem. They're sneaky cockroaches. Yeah. they can get around. <laughs> yeah, but they chitter. Detected. Yeah, they chitter all the time. Because it was chitter. the same with the thing with the car. You know, when they're in the car and they're like, "Oh, they're all trying to get into the car." It's like open we'll the door the car, and get out yeah. of the car. There's right. none of them out there. But I think you're supposed to think that they're. It's just Kingdom of the Cockroach. Right. But at least Kingdom of the Spiders actually showed you like yeah. those all yeah. over the streets yeah. and yeah. Yeah. on top of cars. Like you really couldn't go outside. Yeah, taking yeah. down kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and old men with yeah. spiders on their hats. Yeah. You just wonder what the budget was, you know, comparatively in the 80s to. Well, you don't have to look at it. I mean, well, just, you I know, like, know. It just seems like money went further in the 70s. Like, yeah. The Kingdom oh, of the Spiders did. is not like a big budget movie. No, but, but there's so many spiders in yeah. that movie, though. Of all um, varieties. It's yes. a lot more convincing, I guess, in, in the scope of the, the thing, um, mm-hmm. the attack of the insects. So speaking of people who can't just walk out the front door, Robert Lansing, who's uh-huh. been uh, fighting with Dr. Hubbard. Dr. Hubbard, right, mm-hmm. who we recognize from Alien Nation, the TV show. Mm. Uh, Mandy Patinkin was in that, wasn't he? He was in the movie with James oh, okay. Conn. Yes, yeah. okay. Um, but... She has an unhealthy interest in these mm, cockroaches. She does indeed. She's doing experiments, and... This is as close to the cover of this film that we get. It really is, yes. Yeah. Because she is, uh, she's in one of those boxes where, you know, you put your hand through a hole in the glove, and so you can mess with whatever the experiment is. <laughs> and Like an incubator kind of thing. Yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. that. And so she's messing with the cockroaches, and they start crawling all over her hand, and she's like, My hand... They're biting me. They're biting me. They're biting my hand. And he's and like, well, take your hand out of the box. Uh, you know? the- <laughs> Robert Lansing just looking at it going, then take your hand out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> is that Which- the first start of the tone shift right there? I, I think yeah. it is. Yeah. Like, you're right. Yeah, it does. Um, but then she's she's kind of quivering because she likes it. She's mm-hmm. enjoying yeah. the, the whatever it is, the power of it and everything. And so he's got to yank her hand out of there. And mm-hmm. she's it's covered in blood. Yeah. Like... But often through the movie, she's just kind of adoring these things. Yeah. Yeah. Cave, she's in awe of them. We've yeah. seen that there are giant... Uh, ball sacks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Those are ball sacks. Yes, Larva, yes. Uh, cocoons. Larva. Larva. Sure. Yeah. That glow blue and they're or purple yeah. and they're hanging from the ceiling. And uh, she seems transfixed. <coughs> Pardon she me. She does indeed. But Caressing. we're like, this woman is going to end up screwing one of these, like, a half human, or she's going to produce right. a half human yeah. Yeah. Half well, I mean, hybrid. When she when she mentioned, like, the existence of the queen and they talked about the queen, I thought she was going to be the queen. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I thought that's where they were going with this. 
or she would somehow merge with the yeah, queen. Yeah, become, yeah. She would become the queen. I, I, yeah, somehow, I thought she yeah. would be like she would lord over them. Yeah, yeah. we've got the point. promise yeah. that we're gonna have a queen, uh, giant. You know, mm-hmm. alien, this movie is broken promises, queen Colin. in this thing. <laughs> this is all broken promise. <laughs> But we do see the reason I thought there was going to be a hybrid was because at some point uh, we get a zombie cat and this comes uh, out of yeah, fucking nowhere. Yeah. We do because, yeah, the cat that was attacked earlier has apparently um, been cocooned and has been incubating for right. some time now and has decided to arrive. OK, so yeah. more gremlins. Th- this is not just like a cat that's somehow ambulatory because it's got a bunch of cockroaches in its skeleton or something like that. This is because it has mandibles coming out of its mouth. It does. Yeah. They are some like hybrid, but that is, and it's got the feelers coming out of its yeah. ears. Yeah. It isn't. It's a skinned cat. Yeah. But with yeah. large teeth and the mandibles. And yeah. Then, yeah. But this is a scene is... out of reanimator where they're chasing yeah. this thing around the it's basement. Like it absorbs the skeleton and pump. Like merges with it. I don't know. It's uh, weird. It's, it's weird because it happens later on. Yeah, it's yeah. like it, it only wants the skeleton. Yeah, yeah. Skeleton well, it, cat with little mandibles and, yeah. and antenna, basically. Yeah, because this reminds like, me of the pickle Rick episode. I was yeah. thinking the same thing. It's, it's pickle really Rick. Does. Yes, yeah. like, I feel a lot of pickle I was Rick. I'm thinking of pickle Rick. Yeah, and the rats and everything. <laughs> yep. yep. You well, should watch that episode, dude. It, that's one of the greatest episodes of TV of all time. And the episode of which Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Yeah, Morty. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sorry. It's so good. <laughs> Well, it, it, this uh, phenomenon does happen again because uh, Robert Lansing yes. doesn't take the opportunity to leave the house when the cockroaches are attacking. As when a matter of coming fact, out of the tub and out of the toilet, goes into the one room where they are mostly in. Like, They're on because, every inch of the this tiny bathroom, yeah, so right. he has to go in there. Yes, well, because okay, he needs so to be a hero. He's at he's in his house with his daughter with Beth, yep. mm-hmm. and so and they are starting to get attacked by roaches as well. Yep. Um, and so they're running around the house. Uh, they're told that CO2, Hubbard tells them that CO2 will freeze the cockroaches. So they're around yeah. the house doing that. This is also where we see a lot more of their house and the dirtiness of it. Oh, you see the carpets yeah. and the furniture is not great. It's so gross. So they're, I mean, it just, it really is gross. But they're running around spraying them, starting fires in the fireplace and all that mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, again, more reasons where they could just run out the front door and not have to deal with all this right. shit. Um, but they end up at the bathroom and there's tons of them coming out of there and Robert Lansing's like save yourself <laughs> <laughs> in not a situation where this needs to happen no. right. and he runs into the bathroom they could have just the left and she's <laughs> like dad no dad you know slightly earlier on. and she's what? like pulling on this plywood door that's literally like about to fall off yeah. the hinges yeah. it's like it's like if she keeps touching it it will definitely yeah. fall yeah yeah, yeah. None of it makes sense. No, none, no, of it. none of it. None yeah. of it. None of it makes sense. It's like we have nothing more for this character until a little <laughs> bit later. But she's still, yeah. But he comes back as he, uh, he wanders back into the the room, and he's like going to try and hug her or something. And then it's like, oh no, oh. Now explain this to me. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so uh, when no. a man and a woman love each other, <laughs> and cockroaches get involved, sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, that makes sense to me. Um. The cat was like in this cocoon for like a couple days before it comes back, but Robert Lansing is in the bathroom for like twenty minutes. I think it's the amount of cockroaches. Is it the amount? And is it also like this is the new hybrid that she was talking about that like is immune to stuff and it's like more super cockroachy? Maybe it was the next one because like whatever. Yeah, I mean, I just why does he come back so quickly? Is my my question? Yeah, I think it's just the constant. I mean, she does talk about the constant. Um, evolution, uh, evolution of yeah, the, yeah. Uh, of evolution of these things. How they're always. Are you saying they're the social day. now? They might be <laughs> right. They might be or intelligent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I mean, but uh, yeah, they're always changing. And so, like you said, he does yeah. come back, gives her a hug, and then his skeleton walks out of his body, <laughs> which is what I wanted <laughs> when I started saying that. It's just like I want it to open up and the skeleton to just come out. Reaching I feel like for. this was the scene in the movie where I'm like. The movie that I wanted has just started. Right. Yeah. Yes. yeah. This is the movie I wanted. Because so yeah. here got, in the third act. Yeah. There is a giant, it feels like a giant It starts cockroach. with his eye. Oh, yeah. It starts with his yeah. eye. His eyes like push out of the socket. It's gross. And then his skeleton walks out of his body and steps on the eye. Yep. It's, oh. oh, it's gross. It's very gross. <laughs> it's very good. It's awesome. But it's also, he's got like a cockroach on his, that's controlling him from his chest. Right. Mm-hmm. Sucking on him. And he's a skull. And they saw the fly. 
They yeah. saw the yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, very much. <laughs> she gets a shotgun and eventually blows his brains out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it takes her a couple shots. Yeah, he's uh, not yeah. a very mobile. I will. There's a lot of you could tell things are on wheels. Oh, yes, yeah. 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 which is always which fun. is what I want in yeah. this exactly. kind of movie. Yeah, because yeah, when we say his skeleton like walks out of his body, you see a close up of the foot leaving. Yes, this foot yeah. bone leaving oh, yeah. the Never foot. A Never. Shot yeah, of it walking. It's not no. like uh, was it Wishmaster that had the skeleton just walk out of the bodies in yeah. the beginning? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I got the impression that like the sculpt work on some of the makeup effects was like good and mm-hmm. all the yeah. gelatinous stuff that they covered it with. It was just the, the coverage and yeah, mm-hmm. the mechanics are not there. Yeah. Yeah. So they're just pushing these things around. The cat looked really bad. Yeah. And in yes. some cases it was like, oh, it's just there's the puppet cat yeah. standing there. Yeah. It's not moving at all. Um our heroes, <laughs> you know, racing against time, yeah. right? Because oh, yeah, yeah, they split up. R- Richard and Homer, the, yeah. Richard and Homer in the car. Yeah. Yeah, this is their car. Trying to avert a uh, catastrophe at the lighthouse while right. uh, the women are headed toward the cave right. to blow up the, 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 the I guess it's the nest. <laughs> the nest, There's yeah. A, there was a good back and forth where they're trying to decide who's going with who. And Homer, <laughs> Homer's like, I can't drive a car. Because he drives a moped. <laughs> right. So this is the sheriff just getting very frustrated. And so we get a static camera shot where he's just walking back and forth with the camera, you know, yeah. like, throwing his hands up and everything. And the sign he's like, and he goes over to Homer. He's like, you put the key in here. You pull the thing. That's the gas. <laughs> I know he it's, was just going to like let him be like, here, right. yeah, you can figure it out. It's just like, go. just go. But then the women take off and they have to go with them as well. <laughs> women, huh? <laughs> Which uh, cuts over to the women going, men. men. Yeah. Yep. I, yeah. A tonal shift, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, totally the different last movie. Twenty minutes uh, yeah. is a different movie. Yeah, Doctor Hubbard kind of does meet the uh, the queen uh, in the cave. Yeah. yeah, is it birthed from the egg sacs that are hanging from the ceiling, or this was always there? I think so, it was always there. I feel like it was yeah. always. there. I don't know what it but was. We don't know why it why it is because it's made of like it looks like well, except it's like except the thing. thing. Yeah. Thing. Well, it's. Yeah. I mean, the part in that. Sean was confused by when like the arm goes walking off. That's what it is. It's taking pieces back to the nest uh, to create this thing. Uh, Where did okay. all these faces come from? From all the from victims. The people. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Like the, whole five, the whole five people on this island. Yes. Yeah. 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 But yeah, they're, he's cobbling together a, a yes. queen of some sort. Yes. <laughs> I think they, yeah, I think they all cobbled together the pieces and the queen got in it and then took over it. Yes. Yeah. And then rips Hubbard's arm right <laughs> off. Yeah. It comes off very easily. Yeah. It, just pop, it pops right off. Yeah. Just right off. Yeah. Like a yeah. Barbie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It did, it did move like a Barbie arm. Right. <laughs> right like you're yeah. taking an arm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got to get like, past that joint for it to really yeah. come off. Yeah. yeah. I was instantly like transported back to my childhood. I had a Ken doll that's, uh, that's arm came off pretty easily. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, it's my Ken doll all over. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It seems kind of like the ending of this movie is maybe like edited backwards. Maybe it's just me. Like you're, you're, you know, we have to light the lighthouse so we won't get gassed. Right. And that goes right up to the last second and Homer's able to rig the thing. And so the light comes on and it's like, oh, the chopper is going to be called away. But prior to that, we've already had the end of the movie really, which was, uh, they do set off the bomb mm-hmm. and yeah. blows up the nest. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so that basically leaves, like, I guess Homer's still alive, right? I can't Homer's remember. Homer's in the lighthouse yeah. trying to yeah. fix the light. Yeah, he's, yeah still he's still alive. He's in the lighthouse. He flips the switch. And our lovebirds survive and meet each other on, like, a, a cliffside. On Valentine Bluffs. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah, uh, yeah. Big Sur or something. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, but it turns oh. out that. Uh, <laughs> there's a cockroach on his shoe. And this is probably one of those cockroaches that's impervious to the gas. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then so, we cut to uh, a the goodbye. The worst song of all time. Well, we yeah. cut to a goodbye from uh, a close-up of a cockroach. And then we cut to the worst song ever. <laughs> the worst song It's not ever. great. What was it? Don't, you Don't bug me. Don't bug me. You, you yeah. bug me? You bug me? You bug me? I'm going to look this up. <laughs> it's a rock song from the well, 80s. Rock. A pop song. <laughs> pop tune. It's, it's not credited in the uh, no, in the credits. No. We stayed all the way through watching for who sang it, and we don't know. But it's called yeah. Either don't bug me, you bug me. It's bad. I got, I got it's, once it's again, bad. the tone does not fit. It's real bad. The movie, yeah, yeah. it's not great. Google mm-hmm. is telling me nothing. It's like it sees the nest and then other things, and it's just like no. Oh okay. <laughs> I'll look it up. We'll find it later and give you an update next week. <laughs> all right. <laughs>
All right. Well, stay tuned for that, listener. But uh, I guess before we get to next week and finding out well, who sang the, the closing theme song, mm. we're going to go around the table and we're going to tell you what we thought of tonight's movie. But before we do that, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. And his name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He's literally just controlled by cockroaches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. one of these. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. the yeah. thing that cockroaches are bringing all the pieces to. Right. We just keep him sealed up real good so they stay inside <laughs> yeah. for the That's most very, part. Yeah, so. He's rather uh, uh, hermetically sealed. Yeah. Yes. Ironically, in yeah. certain areas he does. It's a wax. Leak. It's a sealant. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, do we dip him? <laughs> yeah, Colin, every morning. Colin dips him weekly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was right. I mean, I've seen, maintenance, care and feeding and maintenance. Yeah. And I know. I've seen the days where the wax is coming off yeah. and things are escaping. You, you just yeah. take, no, you just take a candle and kind of seal it back up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just touch up. Do a little patch job here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just a little touch up. I like yeah. it. He's fine. Well, we should uh, let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by uh, following along on Facebook, Facebook.com slash the Freak Show, or Instagram. That's you. Oh, sorry. Or Twitter. <laughs> at Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us. SatNightFreakShowYahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram. <laughs> it's you Saturday Night Freak toast. Show. Uh, so about tonight's like, Do you want to give me Instagram? Because you've done this before. I know I should. Yeah. Well, this is, those are the socials. How do we get email in there? Does anybody use it anymore? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> so we get, thank you very much for yes, emailing thank us. thank you. Um, so your about. mail account. <laughs> Haven't got one of those in a while. If you're on a Hotmail account. Or an AOL. I know someone on AOL and they are like. Is it my parents? No, it's someone my (laughs) age. And that's why I was like, yeah, they'll never give it up. And they're like, Gmail's not aesthetically pleasing, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, but I didn't know AOL even existed as like a server hoster anymore. My parents still have AOL. Mm, Bought out by somebody owned by Warner. Yeah, probably. Time Warner. Uh, Time Warner. Yeah. 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 Um, (laughs) Okay. So about tonight's movie, The Nest. Aaron Dawn Murphy's mom writes in. Oh, okay. oh yeah, 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 yeah. We remember this whole predicament. Yep, and says, "Oh my God, the creepy roach movie, great choice and super uncomfortable." Yes, 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 it is. Yes, it is. You are, you are correct. Yeah. You've seen this movie. <laughs> Uh, Timeline of Terror writes in and says, I have roach phobia, so mm. even the box sure. cover was too much for me. But the question is, does a roach ever actually choke a woman in a bikini? No. No. no God damn it. Did we determine what roach phobia is? It's like Karis. Ka- Did you say it? Ka- no. The corporate phages is actual roaches. I think if the X-Files mm. has taught me anything from a great episode. Great episode. Oh. Ketsuridophobia. Okay. Sure. There you go. That's yep. what you've got. That Timeline works. of Terror. I'm glad you're listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show. Yeah. We can uh, diagnose you. Travis Legler says, just seeing this teaser picture that we put up on our social media, mm-hmm. which you should be following along on, he says, I'm betting I will end up buying this movie. I just bought Phantasm 1 through 4. Now this. Man, I needed to take a couple of sick days from work just to catch up on these movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean... You're going to need that sick day if you watch this movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah right? Sick. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. I appreciate that. People are uh, following Follow along. Yeah. Play, play and, the game at home. Yeah. Play right. the home I'm game. I'm sure we'll get to the other two phantasms at some point, right? The floodgates are open. We've done the first two, so. <laughs> I don't know. It depends. Like, well, no. We'll get into that. That's a whole thing. <laughs> Uh, Novato Judoka says, I was going to watch this, but I'm not in the mental mood for it. But somebody check That's out fair. Sean's cats. <laughs> oh, God damn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've only seen pictures of them. I've never actually seen them with my own eyes. So I've met them. I okay. was going to say, yeah. Ali's met them. Yeah, I've the met them. Cheeto, the greatest cat in the world. Yeah. We're going to look at the timestamp on those uh, <laughs> yeah. photos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holly, when you saw them, did you feel like they might be full of cockroaches on the inside? Ooh. You know what? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Explain Dragon, behavior. Dragon might be. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeto's pretty okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called Stone Cold. We did. And uh, Dom Cree. Uh, verified that yes, he has a VHS cover. Thank you, Dom. Yeah. Amazing. Copy Beautiful. of uh, Stone Cold. Oh, and uh, I don't know if we talked about it on the. We talked about the cover, the poster mm-hmm. art. Yeah, that's on the blue. The domestic Blu-ray has this poster. It looks like the Terminator. Yes. Um, which also even looks though, like Terminator Two. Mm-hmm. Which also looks like shocking dark, mm-hmm. which is what Dom also, was able yes. to find. Yep. It's the exact same artwork. It's yeah. weird. It's 
almost the exact same artwork. It, it no, they made it a is, few minor tweaks just to is, say it's different. It yeah. is the Boz on yeah. that cover, mm-hmm. it's, and it is somebody else on the other cover. But they are. Almost, it looks, it, like is, it looks like the Terminator. It is yeah. absolutely, oh, yeah. it is absolutely change a few words so that they didn't know it was my paper. Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah. Definitely, definitely, absolutely. But it is the same. It, like, yeah. it took out machine parts and put in bikers. Right. Like, yeah. It is the same. But thanks for sharing, Dom. I liked that it was a blue clamshell, like yeah. VHS clamshell. I thought that was cool. That's cool. So, it looked yeah, pretty well, cool. He also said he thought he recognized the mountain from the pit fight in Stone Cold, and it's none other than, none other than the man once touted by Vince McMahon as the next Hulk Hogan, Tom McGee. Huh. huh. Really? Wow. There you go. Because on that dude. episode, I think, Michaela, you were saying everybody looked like they were wrestlers. They yeah, <laughs> they, yeah. Did. they all did. They did. I'm not surprised one of them. <laughs> Uh, Tired Silver says Stone Cold is one of my favorite childhood movies. I watched it a year ago, and I still like it. it I made- love it. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, he says it made my top 100 list. Do you have a top 100 list? God, no. So it's that's hard a lot to of work. It down to that few. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's. Too- I would, I would love to start on that's one. A, yeah, that's a lot of work. That yeah, that's a lot of work. I, I could do it though. I think I could do it too. Yeah, keep moving stuff off. Oh yeah, yeah. you have to be some kind of spreadsheet or something. That's what Letterbox is for, Colin. They literally have a list section. Holy shit! Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) I I love how Stone Cold was everyone's favorite childhood movie. I'm like, that is not a movie for children. (laughs) But I wish I would have watched it as a kid because that's when I saw it. it. Yeah, Yeah. right. Um, or it's the perfect movie for children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Show it to your kid, Sean. There you go. Stone Cold. It is very violent. I'll give, I'll give him we'll wait a few years. Yeah. How old is he? Ten. I feel like that's Perfect when I watched age. it. Yeah, ten yeah. to twelve feels yeah. like. There you go. We'll, we'll stick it in one of these coming up years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, DJ Dogman Fish says, mm-hmm. uh, "Rest in peace to that lizard." Uh, I, oh, he says it probably yeah. died five minutes after eating the contents of that blender monstrosity because yeah, yeah, yeah. we established that Stone Cold was the latest in our line of movies where they just put everything in a blender and feed it to somebody. <laughs> we yep. had blender. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we that's right. blender this in one, this movie. Yeah. That's it true. Was cockroaches. And so it still goes Gross. under weird things in a blender. It's a cockroach smoothie. Yeah. Win. Win. Win for the freak show. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> Um, uh, Lance Hendrickson was in Stone Cold. Michael Whitaker says, I got a great story about Lance Hendrickson. I've heard several times now. Apparently at our local rock radio station, Lance was in for an interview about something he was promoting at the time. And apparently off air, he conveniently dropped his hotel key in front of a very pretty intern in efforts to maybe get himself a little something. <laughs> I respect it. You know I respect what? the move. I, I, when I heard this, I was like, you know what? I get it. It's like, like it, it's a. I think that's a move that's just like whoops. It's it's an old guy move. It's like Frank and it's always sunny. Oh, I dropped my Magnum condom for my monster dog. Like, <laughs> yeah. At least the hotel key's a little more subtle than that. Right. I, was a little more subtle, but what, I wonder what year because I'm wondering like what kind of key it was. How long have we had the electronic card keys? On? A while. A while. Okay. Even when 90, I was. A, yeah. Even when I was, right, when when I was, I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. You are correct. And back then, they automatically gave you two cards. Yeah. So you so, could, I mean, yeah. they you, knew what they were doing. You could just have a spare one to be like, hey. Yeah. 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 I dropped that, but uh, if you want to yeah. pick it up. Yeah, because yeah. my first thought was, I used to work at a hotel, and we like specifically had like one key for each person, unless they, sp- unless they mm-hmm. asked for s- extra mm-hmm. keys. Mm-hmm. And then there was a limit. Mm-hmm. But back then, I think they gave them two automatically. I'm just wondering if it was one of those with the red tag on it. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which key. is how they should look. Yeah, I know. That's a hotel key. Like, that Damn should it. be, but we should be able like, they, <laughs> to stick that in the door as the electronic part. Yeah. We should keep that design around if that, if I had my say in the hotel industry. Right. Talk to <laughs> Super <laughs> 8. Okay. Uh, the week Sean's before hotel there. wishes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have, I have thoughts on many <laughs> weird things. <laughs> The Sean Cinematic Universe. This is why you gotta like make all these. Uh, yeah, just put yeah. it in a movie. Uh, so the week before that, we watched a movie called The Apple. Oh, Jesus, oh, sure we did. did. Yeah. And Brett Williams there. wrote in and said, "Oh dear God, not that one." Yeah, yes, that that's one. fair. That's that the one. one. That's it. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, Novato Judoka wrote in again and said, uh, "Well, I just finished this. I'm now watching the Lombada, starring the one." Miss Jan Levinson Gould, <laughs> and it doesn't seem so bad now. Uh, I bet. Nice. Yeah. A, a dance, an actual dance movie is probably refreshing after that. Yeah. Also from Canon. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Action Dude writes in and says, I've got a question for my four favorite Saturday Night Freakers. If you could take a classic horror movie actor and put him in, him or her, in a modern horror movie or franchise, anything 80s or more recent, which actor and which movies? Donald Pleasant. 
I was gonna say Donald Pleasance. Yeah. I want, <laughs> but Donald I would like Pleasance. to see Vincent Price in like a like a like a Hill House type thing. Could you imagine like Vincent Price being directed by Mike Flanagan or something? Mm, yeah, <gasps> that would be, be amazing, cool. wouldn't it? Oh, oh, now you're talking. Christopher Lee is Christopher Doctor Lee, Strange. Yeah, yeah okay. Chris, Ooh, Christopher Lee being directed be by fun. Mike Flanagan too. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. see some. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. You look on the internet, you see all, you can find like the mashups of this old actors. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Photoshopped into new things. Mm-hmm. That's a fun idea. Mm-hmm. Like fan casting. Yeah. yeah. On those Sometimes posters. Sometimes it comes true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes. You, Dr. Sometimes they bring them back to life, put them in movies like Peter Cushing showed up. I mean, yeah, why not? We could <laughs> right. give it 10 years and mm-hmm. that's what we'll have. Uh, well, thank you very much, all of you, for writing, mm-hmm. and we really appreciate it. And Andy, yes, you, keep, uh, you know, Igor gainfully employed. And yeah, out of mm-hmm. something to do. otherwise the roaches will get him. That's right. Mm-hmm. He's got to stay get... mobile. Yeah. Um. Anyway, now we're gonna go around the table. Holly, gonna... <gasps> what did you think about tonight's movie, mm. The Nest? The Nest. So I was not feeling this movie until the third act at all. And the whole time we've been talking about it, I'm trying to decide if the third act was enough for me to recommend it, Mm. because that's where it got good for me. There was some bits scattered in that was fun, like, you know, we were talking about the the arm coming off and being carried away. Like, that was fun. Um, But there wasn't enough of weird fun happening. Like, the tone was very serious for the first two acts, and then it got silly for the third one. And I wanted the whole thing to be silly. So that's that's what's that's what's stopping me because I was like, was I so bored that it didn't save it for me in time? Mm-hmm. And I um, be true to yourself. I know, <laughs> I know, because I really did enjoy the third act. It was it was really gross and it was kind of fun. Um, the that's the tone that I wanted the whole time. I I feel like. We talked about all of the other movies that you can compare. Like we we had saw evidence of the fly, the thing. We saw the blob. Like there's tons of of movies that we've seen that did all of this stuff in a way that I don't think it's necessary for you to see the nest. I think if you, well, I'm assuming you've seen all these other movies, <laughs> but um, I think that's enough. I don't think this is one that you have to check off your list. But if you're curious about it, I mean, just I just watched the last what 25 30 minutes because that's that's where it gets really fun um but then you don't get homer's whole arc <sighs> true <laughs> homer's got a lot of good stuff um oh, lillian's half oh lillian arc. sorry poor lillian. lillian that was her name right uh, okay i don't right? know <laughs> <laughs> waitress yeah i'm gonna say i'm gonna say you don't have to watch the nest i'm not gonna recommend it but if you do want to just watch the last act because that's the best stuff right there Michaela, what did you think? Oh, the nest. Yeah, I, I, the tonal shift is a problem because, like, with these nature attacks movies, you either got to play it completely straight or completely goofy. You can't switch in the middle. Like, you're either you can't do a complete yeah, switch. In yeah, the middle, exactly. Right? You're either arachnophobia and eight legged freaks and kind of the more comedic bend, or your kingdom of the spiders where it's serious. You, but you can't <laughs> like start off as kingdom of the spiders and then try to pivot to arachnophobia. Right. Because yeah. This movie did yeah. not have shadow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's yeah. the only way you can do that. <laughs> yeah. Give me a hammer and nail. <laughs> yeah. And God damn it, give me a hammer and nail. <laughs> it's yeah. We've seen all this stuff before, you know, um, arachnophobia, like, is very oh, similar sure. to this movie. Yeah. For sure. You know, you could you just get to see John Goodman be Homer basically in that movie. So yeah. just watch Arachnophobia instead. Yeah. Like if you really want this type of movie comedic. It is an effective gross out movie. Yes. yes. It's fucking gross. Sure. Very and gross. it did make me itchy and uncomfortable. So I guess it, su- it succeeded in that sense. But the plot is just kind of doesn't work. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But it's also pulling from these weird nature attacks creature movie tropes that we're very familiar with and yeah. yet still not managing to pull them off yeah. yeah which i don't understand um and yeah i just i didn't really enjoy it i didn't like it it i wouldn't i hit like i don't even think i can say the effects are good because like we talked about the way they move just kills whatever good sculpt <laughs> is going on so yeah there's not really a lot here to grab onto the poster's a lie it doesn't go as far as the poster thinks it m- makes you yeah. It doesn't go as far as the poster wants you to believe it will. Like yeah. that poster is more vulgar than this movie. Yeah. Like it. And it gets crazy, but not as crazy as you think it's gonna be. Right. And yeah. that they set they purposely set that bar that high and then didn't even meet it. So that's I would how, that's yeah. advertising. That's how you yeah. get people in the theater. So I would pass on the nest. Colin. Uh yeah, I think I'm in line with you guys yeah. on this one. It's uh the, the the I guess 
it's not a horrible movie, right? It's no. just right. It's, it's an extremely cheap movie. Yeah. I think that's the problem. The cheapness <laughs> is like stealing explosions. Yeah. yeah. Especially <laughs> compared to last week when we were watching yeah. explosions galore. Yeah. No this movie had to steal well, them. Well, the comparison, I mean, I guess, you know, just sitting here thinking of the movies that, you know, that I think I've recommended on this show that are similar. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you should see Kingdom of the Spiders. You should see Slugs, Humanoids from the Deep, yeah. Grizzly, you know, all of those I would recommend. This is like um, it wants to be like that, but I think, you know, you guys are right. The, the tonal shift is weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there is a lot of like effects work, but it doesn't, it doesn't accomplish it. And I think it's because the direction he's a first time director. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I think it's bad. Some of his staging is bad. Some of it we were saying is maybe because, uh, you know, he was under uh, time pressure and couldn't get the coverage and would just do stuff. But even the angles sometimes are weird. You're looking down on people and you're like, why am I at this angle? Looking yeah. At, you know, or why am I over here? It just uh, it's a badly directed movie. Um, it, it's a the it the, the writing is kind of without wit. Uh, yeah. Even mm-hmm. Homer is the most witty character, and it almost feels like maybe that guy like came up with some of the, his own I th- lines. Yeah, because I, th- I it, think so. What I, he says Joseph is so Davies. out of part, out of you know, it's like out of step with the rest of the writing for the other characters, right? Especially when they're also telling jokes and they're like not working, right? Because that's know? the other thing he's doing that, and the sheriff thinks he's so very cool and suave and funny. In the, he's got like an attitude about it. I what think. if the script was written to be a comedy? Right. Okay. And it was directed badly. And it was directed badly. Yeah. And like uh, none maybe. of it landed and nobody really, you know, he was like, no, the tone's got to be like, it's a scary thing. And then eventually like we've seen that movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was the one with the hard cut to the pool? It was. Uh, oh, yeah. God. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like the <laughs> everybody out of the pool. Yeah, out of the fucking pool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was that? What was that? <laughs> we, <laughs> we watched, I don't remember that so I can't well. Remember we watched too many coming. movies. One with a lackadaisical sheriff and a mayor that was coming, yeah, there coming was some, down. Uh, Somebody was, was coming. What was the, the thing fuck that was movie coming? was that? that movie? We've watched too many movies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Emma, Matt, or somebody, please. Yeah. We're just overwriding our files. We are. Yeah, as we can. We're, we're going to think of it like as soon as we're off the air. Probably. But, uh, yeah, so I guess, you know, it's like it, I, I appreciate that it tried. It tried better than it did try. A lot of other movies have, mm-hmm. um, but I think you know it's like, do you need to see it? It's like, well, no, not really. You know, I, I guess unfortunately that's where you got to come down and go see one of those other ones. There's mm-hmm. only so much time in in your life, <laughs> you know. Yeah, see the good ones if you haven't yeah. seen them. If you have seen those, I mean, then like we have, then you can watch <laughs> the nest. But I wouldn't uh, recommend it. Sean, what what do you think? Yeah, I think that's where ultimately this movie ends up. Um, it's taking pieces from other movies you've seen and that you like. Which I think is kind of uh, the movie's hoping that you'll, uh, well, because you liked him in there, you'll like him in us, and then you'll like this movie. But um, yeah, the uh, everything we've said tonight, um, you don't have to see this movie. Like we said, the poster is a goddamn lie, which is was the biggest disappointment for me because I wanted a giant cockroach. We got other things like this is the thing and other stuff, but um, yeah, it's not. Uh, Sorry, yeah, night, night beast. <laughs> Night Beast? Was it Night Beast? Oh, maybe. Alien's it coming been. and we got to... Sorry. It okay. might have been Night Beast. Sorry. Sorry. Been night I didn't mean... Oh, no. You, it, just interrupt <laughs> next time. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it uh, might have been Night Beast. I think you're right. I think you might be right. Had we, okay. Yeah, you might be right. With the one with the lasers and everything. Yeah. Shot yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think that's I it. I think so. Uh, but the nest. Um, <laughs> I don't... Uh, yeah, there's, it's, there's some... Fun effects work. I'm not going to say good, but there are some fun stuff in this. Homer's fun. Some of the effects are fun, especially that uh, the Robert Lansing walking out of his body, his skeleton walking out of his body. It was just gross and Mm -hmm. the eyeballs coming out and everything. So there's a lot of grossness into this. It's very cheap. Obviously, it's a Corman production. Um, Yeah, there are better movies out there and you can literally... (laughs) You can literally get stuff from this movie from other movies like The Explosions. (laughs) <laughs> and that's i guess that kind of seeped into the rest of the movie and you know just watch the other stuff because i think there are better versions of this out there um but like alan said if you've seen them all uh, maybe check it out but yeah i'm gonna say you don't have to watch the nest i say it's uh probably a pass all right it's unfortunate it is unfortunate because yeah, like yeah. you said it's not a horrible movie no it's not i don't no. hate this movie no i have no uh bad feelings towards it right. i just don't have any 
super great feelings yeah. towards it. So mm-hmm. there you go. It's kind mm-hmm. of a well, oh, thank you. At least they can't for... all be winners. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here. Yes. That's right. And we all went you. into this uh, yeah. without having, none of us had seen it. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. I have yeah. not seen this movie. Um, okay. Well, uh, next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Holly. What are we going to watch next week? We are going to watch a movie. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to watch a movie called Raiders of Atlantis, a.k.a. Atlantis Interceptors. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. That sounds like we're going oh, back no. to Italy for an I feel Italian, like we're going Italian Spanish. It's okay. Don't look up anything about it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm not even going to remember the title. Yeah, no, I definitely Good. won't remember. Yeah. No. Good. Atlantis Interceptors. Oh. That's half the title, yes. AKA <laughs> Raiders of Atlantis. Raiders. All right. Okay. All right. Woo. Well, we can't wait. Next week on the Saturday. Have you seen it? But we will. I've seen enough. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, just when you're like, I watched 20 minutes and shut it off. Like, bring it like we're bringing it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.